Hi, this is Dr. Stella Nyanzi, Nalongo Owenene Engazi, with my revolutionary big mouth says. Today I want to celebrate the unity that was displayed by almost all opposition political parties in Uganda that are opposed to dictator Yoweri Museveni's reign of terror over the country. They came together at Katonga Road under the hosting of FDC political party um, as a display, a symbolic display of unity among the revolutionary freedom fighters in Uganda. We saw parties including PPP, DP, CP, UPC, NUP, ANT, FDC, and JEMA coming together. I want to be on the record as one who is celebrating this moment, specifically at the beginning of 2024 in January, because it reignites our hope for the liberation struggle in Uganda. Witnessing our leaders coming together um, is what a lot of us has, have been waiting for in Uganda. It reignites, refuels, re-energizes the liberation struggle. I want to celebrate the bigger engagement, participation, involvement of women in the freedom fight for Uganda on the front lines. Women not just as pictures, beautiful pictures, standing silently, sitting silently in the photos that are taken, but women participating. I want to celebrate Doreen Nyanjura, who was the master of ceremony together with Gerald Karuhanga. We saw young female youthful energy coming together with elderly gray hairs of a former parliamentarian. And then we saw Namazi, uh, Nalongo, Omugwati, Olive leading prayers, another young woman, Salam Musumba of the FDC, came and gave precise salutations and a message of hope. And then Winnie Kiza of the ANT party was one of the key speakers representing the leadership of that specific political party. So women engagement, there is no revolution if women are left on the sidelines, if women are not included, or if we are only included as your sex mates, your photography moments, and your secretaries. So I want to celebrate that part. We have got it straight and right this season. Keep it up, keep it up. The other thing that I want to celebrate was the engagement of the elite and I specifically want to highlight the role of Council Peter Walubiri, the role of Council Arias, uh, Arias Lukwago, Salongo, Omolodi, the current president of the progressive faction of um, FDC and Dr. Shiza Vestige and every other, you know, Salongo, Bayega, Lulume, Lulume. They were all there in their different capacities as educated people. We saw Joel uh, Senyonyi, the current leader of opposition. Everybody in their different capacity with their degrees. We have had a lot of criticism against elite members of Uganda neglecting the freedom fight. But I want to celebrate their involvement at the forefront of the struggle together with all the foot soldiers that I saw in their different colors, blue, red, UPC. I also want to highlight the fact that Council Peter Waluvidi brought in the historical role and the importance of knowing history. And at this juncture, the coming together of elderly, senior politicians and statesmen and stateswomen together with the youths, the history is necessary together with the current power of youthful energy. These two have to come together in unity. And finally, perhaps in terms of celebration, I want to celebrate the fact that we sang the national unity, the national anthems. We did not capitalize on any of our political parties. We didn't capitalize on any of our political party slogans. We didn't capitalize, but we sang the national anthem of, of Uganda after we had sung Echitiwa Cha Buganda, which was led by Michael Kadaziguruka. Michael, who is not a Muganda. So we see ethnic coming together. 
different ethnicities in Uganda singing Echichiwa Cha Buganda, singing O Uganda May God Uphold You. And so from Stella's revolutionary big mouth, I say kudos to the freedom fight in Uganda.